Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install a spectrograph. If you don't know what that means, just look where the little white arrow is down below. It's basically a voice meter for music as well as for voice. Stay tuned for more information. In order to get this plugin, you simply open up your favorite search engine. In this case, mine happens to be Google, and you want to type in the word OBS. From here, hit the Enter key, or just click on OBS. It should open up Open Broadcaster Software. That's what you want to click on. That's your first option in this case. And from here, you want to go to the upper right-hand corner of the screen, where it shows the word Forum. You want to click on that, and then once you click on the word Forum, all the way to the left, you're going to see a plugin with a drop down. From there, you want to click on Search Plugins. That's what you're looking for right there. From here, if it asks you for cookies, just tell it you accept. And from here, you want to just type in the word Spectral. It's that simple. So you either hit the Enter key or you click on the Search button. Now, the only thing that should show up is Waveform 1.6.0. You want to click on the word Waveform in order to find out more information about this. And you can scroll down. They have YouTube videos. They also have reviews that show you how to use this and its ease of use. And as you can see, they have different styles different configurations so you can customize it to your needs. This works with a microphone or music. So click on the download button. And if you notice on here, there's no download, no file or anything. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to see assets. You might see a little hourglass. Now, if you're running the Mac system, obviously you're going to click on the Mac. And if you're running Windows, you're going to click on the self executable file, which is this exe file right here. That's what you want to click on. Again, Mac OS, you want to click on Mac OS. Now, once the file starts downloading, it's really small. It should download rather quickly. You want to open the file when it's done, and this will open the executable file so you can run it. Now, you might get a notice that saying that your Windows was protected. Basically, you want to click on more information because you want to run this program. It is a trusted program and you want to click on run anyway. That's what you're looking for as a tendency of doing that Windows, unfortunately. Now you can go ahead and look at the user agreement. I don't know anybody that does look at it. I don't have time for that. So I just accept the agreement, click next, and here's your install directory. Most people it's drive C. In my case, I've got all my applications on a separate hard drive. So I have to change it to drive D. But more than likely, your install is going to be on Drive C. Once you have that configured the way you want it and where it should be, usually it defaults to wherever your OBS is. Click on your next button and create an uninstall. Make sure that's checked and just install it. It's that simple to install. And click on the finish button again once it's installed. Once you have that file downloaded onto your computer, you can go ahead and close your browser and then go ahead and open up OBS. Once you have OBS open, under your sources, you want to click on the plus button and then you want to click on Waveform Visualizer. Once you have that open, click OK and you'll see that it's open here. Most people are going to select audio source as being their desktop audio. So that way when you're playing music in the background, you'll be able to see the graph so what you want to do is play some music in the background like we see right here and if you look this is plain this is just one solid color which i don't like you can see in the background what it looks like we're just going to drag it right here temporarily to see what it looks like looks pretty cool but it's all plain white with this program you have all kinds of customizable options which is kind of nice so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. If we're going to scroll down just a little bit and we're going to select the color as being red because I want it to match what I've got going on in the background. So that's not good enough. So under redder mode, you want to select from solid to gradient. So we'll make it look a little bit cooler by selecting a secondary color. 
because like I said, I want it to match what I've got going on in the background. So now this looks a little bit cooler. Of course, it's a little off center because I didn't center it properly, but we'll bring it back down and tweak it a little bit. So there we go. So that's what it looks like. Now go through every one of these options and find out which works best for you. The other cool thing about this is if you don't like this graph that you have right here, you can change it. If you notice under display, display mode, it says curb. You can switch it over to bars, which looks pretty cool. So it looks like that. So if you really want to get an idea of what it looks like, you can full screen this. So to full screen it, there we go. Now it looks halfway decent. It's that simple. It's that easy. Go through the different options and go ahead and change them and suit them to your liking. Well, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this was quick and short and easy for you. I welcome any comments or suggestions. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Appreciate it.